guys, it is day five of my day of my day of my bed rest. And these meds are gonna get on my last nerve. Like it severely has slowed everything down. I'm living in a blur. It's so hard to keep my eyes open. I'm losing my voice because I have this weird cough. I don't know really what's going on with that. Let me lock my wheelchair so it doesn't squeak. So yeah, as I mentioned, I didn't log any of the first couple days because it was bad. Mostly I was, hopefully, mostly I was knocked out, but for the most part I was, yeah, I was screaming and like going into states of shock. And my mom decided to put on a marathon of Walking Dead <laughs> uh, to make me feel better, which in normal circumstances would have, and it did kind of. Um, and then we come to like scenes with Herschel in them, and ooh, uh, spoiler alert for Walking Dead, cover your ears for the next five seconds. And so I thought about how he <laughs> had got his leg cut off. Okay, you can take your ears. And I was like, just channel him, channel him, conquer your pain. It is so hard for me to accept help from people. Number one, I do not like asking for help. I hate asking for help. Um, and two, accepting the help when it's offered is really difficult for me. But I had been beaten down. I had been beaten down by, by the surgery. I was in so much pain that like, I had to put all that aside and let, and let, um, and let my family help me as much as they could those first two days because I was just like infant status like crying um, I couldn't move I couldn't go to the bathroom on my own and that's how it was for the first couple of days and then like now um, I'm home alone with Emmy as the usual deal is I think I'm getting better I think my body should be more accustomed to medications hopefully um, and I can get up more and sit down more and vlog more. Um, but I thought, yay, like if I'm gonna be like stuck in bed, then I can do some writing. I would try to do anything. I would try to write. I would try to watch a movie. And I successfully watched full through <laughs> a movie um, in the last couple of nights. But anything that I tried to do with the meds would literally have me like with my eyes rolling into the back of my head and go into an instant state of dreaming. And one of the worst situations was, <laughs> um, I think this morning, I don't remember, I'm losing track of time. I was having this like really awful dream um, where I was in some kind of like basketball arena and the, and the floor plan was changing. Sorry, man, the floor plan was changing and then, um, I had lost my camera bag and I was really anxious and I was looking for my camera and all of a sudden my alarm went off to take my painkiller at 7 a.m. and my brain went no you need to go back there and find your camera bag and so then my eyes opened for a second turned off the alarm and went right back into the dream and I kept looking for my camera for like another four hours in that dream um, finally woke myself up around 10 a.m. being like, dude, you're dreaming, wake up! And I woke up and I was like, oh, my camera's not missing. That was awful. So my dreams are literally messing with my reality right now. I'm tripping out. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best and vlog a little bit more. Maybe not about this, let's talk about other things. Let's talk about other things to keep my mind away from all the pain that I'm going through and being in bed most of the time. Thanks for caring. I will see you guys eventually. Soon. Real soon. <laughs> Bye.